Hi, I'm Raj Vijay Singh and I welcome you all to Match Traveling. This YouTube channel is basically focused on the match requirement of all over the world. But being a proud Sri Lankan, I have decided to start with the subject Combat Mathematics, which is a widely popular subject stream in Sri Lanka among A-level students. I have been a full-time Combat Mathematics teacher during past 12 years and I gathered all my experience here to create a complete theory course of Combat Mathematics. Please remember, I am covering here only theories, including some questions to support the theoretical background. And if you really want to master all these theories in depth, you must follow past paper questions and one paper questions under the proper guidance of a qualified teacher. By the way, I am going to cover a complete theoretical guide of combined mathematics in syllabus implemented from 2019 onwards in Sri Lanka, step by step with no steps kicked. Everything means everything. I am not going to miss even a single small theory that you require to master the subject. So stay tuned, click the subscribe button and bell icon to make sure you are notified soon we upload a new commandment video. So let's get started. We start with the topic trigonometry which comes under pure mathematics and is considered as the longest topic in the syllabus. Trigonometry is a science about right angle triangles but we can apply this science to any sort of a triangle since we can divide any triangle to two separate right angle triangles. In all levels you must have learned three main trigonometric theories which are called sine, cos, tan which means if you take a right angle triangle and, and if you name this angle as theta and the opposite side is simple A and the adjacent side is simple B and the hypotenuse which is right in front of this right angle the longer side of a right angle triangle as C sin theta equals opposite side over hypotenuse which is simple A over C cos theta which is adjacent side over hypotenuse which is simple B over C and tan theta which is opposite side over adjacent side simple A over B in advanced level, you are learning another three new trigonometric terms which are called sec, cosec, cot. Basically, the reciprocals of these three main trigonometric terms, which are if you take cosec theta is equal to the reciprocal of sine theta, which is 1 over sine theta. Sec theta the reciprocal of cos theta which is sec theta equals 1 over cos theta and finally cot theta which is the reciprocal of tan theta having said this you have to learn by heart some basic trigonometric values in order to deal with the trigonometric question like a boss. So let's see what are those basic trigonometric values that you must make sure that you learn by heart in your memory. Let's look at that. There are some trigonometric values that you must remember to make sure that you are dealing with the combined mathematics simplifications well. So those are the basically 0 degrees, 30 degrees, 45 degrees, 60 degrees, 90 degrees, 180 degrees, 270 degrees and 360 degrees is basically same 0 degrees because it's like you are going in a circle and coming to the same point. So you must remember now sine 0 is 0 and sine 30 is half and sine 45 is 1 over root 2 sine 60 is root 3 over 2 sine 90 is 1 and sine 180 is 0 sine 270 is minus 1 and sine 360 is 0 which is equivalent to sine 0 and cos 0 is 1 
and cos 30 is root 3 over 2 cos 45 is 1 over root 2 cos 60 is half cos 90 is 0 cos 100 is minus 1 cos 270 is 0 and cos 360 is 1 so if you see carefully you see a kind of a relationship between sine and cos basically sine 30 and cos 60 are equal sine 45 cos 45 are equal and sine 60 and cos 30 are equal so when it's a matter of learning by heart so you can create such relationships to make sure that you memorize the things very fast and easy so tan tan 0 is 0 tan 30 is 1 over root 3 tan 45 is 1 tan 60 is root 3 and tan 90 is infinite and tan 180 is 0 tan 270 is minus infinite and tan 360 is 0 so these are the values now it's time to see two examples to make sure that you are okay with these trigonometric values and let's see how we are supposed to simplify some trigonometric problems just after a short while how these trigonometric values are generated though it is not so relevant to the trigonometry syllabus it's so nice for you to be aware how these things are generated now if you consider 60 degrees now if you consider an equilateral triangle ABC which one side too simple A eh? and if you draw a perpendicular line that bisects BC side equally so this part will be simple A and applying the Pythagoras theorem to ABD triangle we can say this AD line length is root 3A and as we all aware that angle of an equilateral triangle is 60 degrees per one angle so this will be 60 degrees so if you consider sine 60 that is opposite side over hypotenuse AD over AB which is root 3A over 2A equals root 3 over 2 after a being cancelled and cos 60 equals adjacent side over hypotenuse which is a over 2a equals 1 over 2 and tan 60 equals opposite side over adjacent side which is root 3a over a equals root 3 after a being cancelled off similarly if you consider this angle which is 30 degrees since this is 90 degrees this is 60 degrees as we all aware the sum of internal angles of triangles 180 degrees so this should be 30 degrees so we can say sine 30 degrees is opposite over hypotenuse which is a over 2a which is half and cos 30 is adjacent over hypotenuse which is root 3a over 2 simple a which is root 3 over 2 and tan 30 is which adjust opposite side over adjacent side which is a over root 3a which is 1 over root 3 so then let's look into 45 degrees angle when you consider the 45 degrees so if you draw a right angled isosceles triangle which is uh, these two sides are equal so if this is 90 this will be 45 degrees and this will be 45 degrees and if this side is simple a this side also will be simple a and by Pythagoras to this capital ABC triangle this side will be root 2a so sine 45 will be opposite side over hypotenuse which is a over root 2a and uh, so it's a a cancel so it is 1 over root 2 and cos 45 
will be the same since these sides are equal. This is simple a over root 2a, which is 1 over root 2, and tan 45 equals opposite side over adjacent side, which is simple a over a equals to 1. So this is how these trigonometric values are being generated. We can talk further long, but since it is not so relevant to the syllabus, let's look into some practical problems. So let's look into this problem. Now, if you consider sec 45, it means uh, sec 45 is the reciprocal of cos 45. So which is, now let's say cos 45 is 1 over root 2. So the sec 45 will be the reciprocal of 1 over root 2, which is root 2. So as well as, now when you consider sec square 45 degrees, which means sec 45 times sec 45, which is equal to x square, which is x into x. So, as I said, now, sec 45 means the reciprocal of cos 45 cos 45 is 1 over root 2 so that means sec 45 means the reciprocal of 1 over root 2 which is root 2 and sec square 45 is root 2 square and into cos 60 means half sine square 30 which is sine 30 times sine 30 which is 1 over 2 square plus tan 60 will be root 3 and cot squares 30 which is cot 30 means the reciprocal of tan 30 tan 30 is 1 over root 3 so cot 30 will be root 3 and since it is squared it is root 3 squared so this is equal root 2 square is 2 into half into 1 over 4 plus root 3 square is 3 3 root 3 so this means so 2 2 cancels of just this is 1 over 4 plus 3 root 3 when you take the common denominator, we can write this as the final answer 1 plus 12 root 3. Here we go. So similarly, we look into the second problem of ours and the, probably the last question of this video. Now this is the second problem so let's look into that the first stuff just it's like similarly the first question now sine 60 is half and cos 60 is uh, also half minus tan 60 is root 3 and sine 30 is half over sec 60 which is the reciprocal of cos 60 cos 60 is half sec 60 will be 2 and cos 60 will be half and uh, minus cot 60 is the reciprocal of tan 60 tan 60 is root 3 cot 60 will be 1 over root 3 sec 60 will be the reciprocal of cos 60 cos 60 is half so this will be 2 and equal so it is 1 over 4 minus root 3 over 2 over 1 minus 2 over root 3 so in order to simplify this we are multiplying up and down by 4 root 3 so the the reason behind that so just here 4 is there here root 3 there so to get rid of those we are supposed to multiply by both the numbers which is 4 root 3 so when you multiply up and down the numerator and the numerator by 4 root 3 so this will be root 3 minus 2 root 3 my bad it's uh, when you can multiply by 4 root 3 it will be uh, 2 root 3 into root 3 over uh, here it is uh, 4 root 3 minus root 3 cancels off and this is 8 so it will be root 3 minus this will be root 3 into root 3 3 minus 6 over 4 root 3 minus 8 so now we write this root 3 minus 6 over taken 4 out it is root 3 minus 2 so 2 
rationalize this denominator we use the technique called multiplying by the conjugate so basically the conjugate is now if you consider the difference of squares which you have learnt in all levels which is uh, now let's say if you write a square minus b square we can write a minus b into a plus b so now the conjugate of a minus b will be a plus b the conjugate of a plus b will be a minus b so it's just vice versa and when you multiply uh, some kind of a mathematical term by its conjugate we can write it as a difference of squares so here we are multiplying this up and down by root 3 now just this is root 3 minus 2 so the conjugate of root 3 minus 2 will be root 3 plus 2 so we are multiplying this by root 3 plus 2 and up also root 3 plus 2 so then we'll get the outcome which is when you simplify this thing it will be root 3 into root 3 3 and it is a plus 2 root 3 and uh, minus 6 root 3 minus 12 over here comes root 3 minus 2 root 3 plus 2 a minus b a plus b which is a square minus b square so root 3 square 3 2 square is 4 so it is 4 open bracket it is 3 minus 4 so the final answer will be i am just using the same space just to make it simple and keep complete simplification on the same paper so now it is uh, uh, 3 minus 12 it is a uh, minus 9 and 2 root 3 minus 6 root 3 it is, it is minus 4 root 3 and over it is minus 4 so the final answer will be when you multiply up and down by minus so it will be 9 plus 4 root 3 over 4 so here we go so this question is over so please remember as i mentioned before so to master this combined mathematics theories you must follow some past paper questions model paper questions and try some new stuff here my plain focus is to make sure that you know all the theories and you learn well and you get some particular good idea doing few example questions so let's meet with another tutorial video till then goodbye